Hey everyone, today we are at the base of Storm King Mountain off to our right, getting ready to check out Storm King Campground. We're getting ready to cross over the middle fork of the Carnero Creek as we make our way into the campground. This campground is rarely used. Camping fees are $5 per night. There is no water or trash service available. We also do not have cell phone signal with AT&T or Verizon. Site number one. This pull through site backs up to the creek. Max RV length in this campground is 25 to 30 feet. Got a single outhouse available coming up here on the right across from campsite number two. Got a view down into the valley here. Campsite 6 will be off to the right. We'll pass it shortly when we come back through the loop. This campground is mainly used by ATV owners that are looking to use the uh, network of old logging and mining trails that are in the area. Campsite number 3 is just a pull off on the side of the road here on the left. Storm King Campground is open from Memorial Day through early November, weather permitting. Be sure to check out the description below the video for directions and GPS information. Site 4 is really nice. Pretty close to site number five. So, not a lot of privacy if it's a busy weekend. Another longer driveway here. Tent pad area is up to the right. To get to Storm King Campground, there's a couple routes. Uh, both of those are 14 miles um, from the nearest paved road down the uh, well-maintained gravel road to get here. You can either come in from uh, La Garita, which is up on the northwest side of the San Luis Valley, or you can take um, from the town of Sawatch take Colorado Highway 114 for about 14 miles and then turn on a dirt road and go about 14 miles from there over Carnero Pass until you reach the campground. Site 6 is a pull through. A lot of aspen trees around here. This would be great camping in the fall. come back up on sites number two on the right and then number one will be after that. So the National Forest Service website lists 11 campsites and the 
campground review sites that copy a lot of their information and just copy and paste it from the National Forest site. They also list 11 campsites, but we're only seeing six. I do have a spreadsheet of campgrounds in the Rio Grande National Forest that I downloaded from the Forest Service a while back, and it lists six sites. So I'm not sure what's correct. If it was 11 sites, then it's switched to six, or if there's plans to increase this to more sites. Right, the road to the right leads to Carnero Pass and eventually Colorado 114. Going left back at that intersection leads you to Lagarita and the San Luis Valley. <laughs> 